So the question was, we had about 150 uh, startups who had been shortlisted uh, just before the launch. Uh, I don't know if it's relevant to the Angel Summit, but I'll answer the question anyway. Um, so the answer is, um, the 150 who have been shortlisted remain shortlisted. Uh, we are using this week to iron out all the problems with regards to getting the companies onboarded. So fundamentally, the three birthrights, I believe, to any entrepreneur are electricity, water, and internet. So we're making sure all those three are stable this week. And then starting Monday, all the companies will be moving in. But I'm a big proponent of women entrepreneurship. Um, I, yeah, plenty of. We have lots of women entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't have a reservation. It's purely based on merit. That being said, there are lots of women entrepreneurs and we'll be happy to champion that cause. Out of the 150, I want to say roughly 20-25% are definitely women, but I could be wrong here. But for the fact, I know it's at least... Uh, the, the other thing we're also doing is, uh, from a visual infographic perspective, we're trying to showcase the number of women employees that are in the building and number of women founders in the building. A, to try and stand apart, and B, have more summits like the Angel Summit uh, happen here. We do want to differentiate ourselves and be the leading state in the country to foster that. So the more we do events like this, it raises two things, right? Awareness and accessibility. And, and we're trying to anchor all that in DHUB.